All right, let's work a problem with the same solution, and we're going to calculate a couple of different properties with that. So the first part here is we have what is the hydrogen ion concentration for a solution with a pH of 8.0? Well, first off, we have to answer a couple questions. Is this an acidic or basic solution? Well, we don't have a formula to check, but we do have the pH because we know that acidic solutions have pHs below 7 and basic solutions have a pH above 7. So we know that this is a basic solution. Always do this check. What do we know about basic solutions? Oh, we know that the hydrogen ion concentration of a basic solution is less than 1.0 times 10 to the minus 7. Okay. So since we're calculating hydrogen ion concentration, we want to have a target. So it's got to be something less than 10 to the minus 7. So how do we calculate pH? Well, we know that pH is equal to the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. And if you remember from class, we also learned that we could rearrange this thing, and we can say that the hydrogen ion concentration is equal to 10 to the minus pH power. That's a little bit easier to uh, sort out when we have a pH. So, I know that my hydrogen ion concentration is equal to 10 to the minus 8.0, since my pH is 8. Point zero. So let's go ahead and, and put that in my calculator. I'm going to use the 10 to the x key. Now the 10 to the x key is usually your log key and there's log and then 10 to the x key right there. So I'm going to have to hit shift and then the 10 to the x key. Now some calculators you have to hit 10 to the x then the exponent. Some you hit the number then 10 to the x. This one you put in the exponent first. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put in 8.0, and I'm going to make it negative, so I have to hit this little plus minus key. Now then I'm going to hit second function, and then t uh, 10 to the x, and I get 1 times 10 to the minus 8. So this becomes 1.0 times 10 to the minus 8. Is that smaller than 10 to the minus 7? Yeah. So that's a reasonable answer for a basic solution. Always do your checks. All right, so let's go do the next one. Here we're looking at the same thing. It's the solution with the pH of 8. But we want to find out what the hydroxide ion concentration is. Well, remember, this is a basic solution. pH of 8, yeah, it's above 7, so it's basic. What do we know about basic solutions? Oh, well, we know that their hydroxide ion concentrations are greater than 1.0 times 10 to the minus 7. Okay, so their hydroxide ion concentrations are greater than that for basic solutions. So we also know that the hydrogen ion concentration times the hydroxide ion concentration is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14. So do we already know the hydrogen ion concentration? Sure, we calculated that from up above. So we can say 1.0 times 10 to the minus 8 times my hydroxide ion concentration is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14. Well, let's go ahead and do our algebra. We know our hydroxide ion concentration is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14 divided by 1.0 times 10 to the minus 8. Let's go ahead and put this in the calculator. So 1.0 EE or EXP to the times 10 to the 14th power divided by 1.0 EE or EXP times 10 to the negative 8 power equals 1.0 times 10 to the minus 6. Is that reasonable? My hydroxide ion concentration is greater than 10 to the minus 7. 10 to the minus 6 is greater than 10 to the minus 7. That's a reasonable answer.